This game started quietly but ended in a frenzy. Charlton took the lead after 15 minutes when George Boateng scored an own goal. Sean Bartlett and Jonathan Johansson doubled up before Boateng finished the move. Nothing much happened for another 20 minutes until this moment. Richard Rufus ploughed into Mark Delaney and referee Graham Pohl decided that it was worthy of a red card for Rufus. That set tempers boiling and there were several more flashpoints. But right on half-time, referee Pohl said Steve Staunton pulled back John Robinson and gave a penalty. Klaus Jensen then gave Charlton a 2-0 lead at the interval. But in the second half, Villa stormed back with John Gregory replacing Boateng and Steve Stone with David Ginola and Darius Vassell. And guess who scored ten minutes later? Villa had two more good chances before they equalised thanks to their other substitute. It was a brilliant solo effort from Vassell. Four minutes from the end, Paul Merson thought that he'd scored. Replays later showed that it hadn't crossed the line, but before Merson could say, where's the video line judge, Charlton retook the lead with only three minutes to go. Mark Kinsella, Charlton's captain, in the middle of a Villa triangle. But even that wasn't the end of it. As the home fans whistling grew to a crescendo, Dion Dublin flexed some muscle, held off the defence, and Lee Hendry turned to score the equaliser four minutes into injury time. Ian Payne reporting, you can't rule Chelsea out of the scrap for third place. As things stand, Aston Villa would once again have to turn to the Intertoto to qualify for Europe. Sunderland have decided against entering, and they have to regroup after one win 11. Today's home game with Newcastle, great opportunity.